uh, we're gonna use the exhibition at Mercer Union in Toronto to um, start a pilot project called uh, Niagara Falls Artist Host Program. And the idea is to copy existing um, programs for newcomers, uh, but apply it speci specifically to the art world and uh, pair volunteering hosts from the Canadian um, art scene with uh, newcomers to Toronto's art scene, uh, primarily artists with an immigrant or refugee background. When this happens as a professional relationship, we also open up uh, the, uh, the Canadian uh, uh, art world to other uh, expressions. One of the primary goals of the program is to focus on the fact that when you arrive as, an, as a refugee or immigrant in a new country, having fled your uh, native country, you are immediately stripped of your um, professional identity and your primary identity becomes either being a refugee or an immigrant. And the program is very much um, inspired by, you could almost say, a, a, a tribute to um, um, two artists working together here in Denmark, where we are from, uh, Swedish, uh, Swedish born Åsa Sonja Stotter, who went to a Red Cross center, specifically asking if uh, they had any contact to refugee artists. She met uh, Asif Mufit, um, an Afghan artist, um, at that time seeking asylum in Denmark. I feel so humiliated and frustrated by, by the Danish uh, immigration politics and that we actually have a, a racist government. So if he's from Afghanistan and and I'm from Sweden living here and so we needed just to talk and to learn to know each other and each other's situation. And we went to see exhibitions together and we went to the academy and talked and I he also met other artists here artist friends of mine and and I mean that was a process of understanding our situation and, and where we are. And I also met his friends and we went to his uh, uh, asylum camp, the camp where he stays. And you can say that what's on this carpet that we... The name of this carpet to. is a life. So you see a life on the carpet. And this is my life as a... Afghani person and uh, we can say Afghani artist. In Denmark we have a situation where we have a what they call a ministry for integration. Um, this ministry or this department under the government is trying to uh, to create laws that that uh, enable a fast integration. Uh, integration in, in, in their view is uh, what, what we would call uh, assimilation. They don't really uh, want to discuss how um, the newcomer can actually benefit uh, or, or how the society can benefit from the newcomer's experiences. I think our program is, is, is trying to, as Morten say, uh, focus on the fact that integration is a two-way process, that uh, it's not only the, a question of the new coming artists to the Toronto art scene um, benefiting from uh, the, the, the context and the network and the know-how of the host. Though, of course, the politics has not changed, I don't think you should be disappointed in that way because I think we managed to create a situation when we delivered this carpet to Battle Order where he actually didn't have any prepared way to behave. He really liked it and uh, he decided to have it on his own office. And uh, we talked a little bit about what we are explaining on the carpet. And uh, 
somehow I feel that he see in uh, September we produced um, a small folder that we have distributed throughout uh, uh, the art community and uh, refugee immigrant communities in Toronto. And the folder announces the program and uh, specifies how to join the program. And you can do two things. You can either fill out the application form in the folder that you simply cut off and mail to us at Mercer Union, or you can uh, sign up to our Hotmail account. And once you sign up to either become a guest or a host in a program, we will um, invite people to a brief orientation meeting. Um, and an interview. And an interview, and then match you up with, with uh, an artist or an art worker that would um, accommodate your needs and uh, to make the friendship um, inspiring. We don't know what will happen afterwards. We can't, we can't um, guarantee that lasting friendships are going to uh, come up or come out of this, but that's not really the point. The point is that we open up the different networks to each other and, and create uh, meeting points. So now, now we continue to work together. Um, Asif did not get asylum in, in Denmark, so he he fled further on to Norway to try there because Norway is outside EU. It's interesting because we have sold the carpet actually to, I mean, we have made some copies of the carpet. So one copy we have sold to um, the governmental art fund. So now I need to talk to some lawyers about this, you know, how government can, can buy something from a person they don't want to have in their country. It really points to the fact that uh, that it's not only newcomers to Canada who has to integrate, it's also uh, established Canadians who has to integrate into this new globalized situation of migration that goes for the art world too. So by using Mercer Union um, as a platform to, to uh, launch this project, we're, we're not saying that uh, <laughs> Uh, newcomers to the Toronto art scene will then get Mercer Union as a gallery. Mm -hmm. well, we are opening up uh, um, an existing network. Integration may be a project which happens one by one, mm. like it happens when two people meet. Mm. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just feel nervous when I'm talking to camera. It's actually it's first time in my life that I'm talking to camera I, I'm so sorry but in in future I will make better movie I mean films <laughs> interview <laughs>